Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you how we have created this employee satisfaction dashboard in Google Sheets. As you are seeing my screen, here we are showing the total number of the survey, then overall satisfaction score, and here we are showing the work environment score. These scores are out of 5. Then we are showing here compensation score and management score. Here we are showing this chart work environment score by the department and this is growth opportunity score by the location and number of survey by the month. Then we have here overall satisfaction score by the job role. This is the work life balance score by the job role and this is work life balance score by gender. Here we are showing the management score by the month. Now I will show you the data also. So this is the data and here we have the employee ID, department, job role, gender, location. Then we have the survey rate and here we have work environment, compensation, management, work life, growth opportunity and average satisfaction score also. Then we have here month and year. So these all are scores out of 5, 1 to 5. Okay. And for each individual employee, we have captured the scores or the ratings in the various parameters. Now we are showing this into this particular dashboard. Okay. Now I will show you how we have created this. So let me add a new sheet here. And uh, let's say on this sheet, we will show you how we have created this dashboard. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'll just select this range till column J and use merge cells. So we will make this our header. So you can take some dark color. Let's say I'm taking this color or you can choose any other color. Font take white in that case and make this font name as Arial rounded slightly bigger. And now you can type here. Let's say this is employee satisfaction dashboard. And now let's align this center and middle and we can increase the column width like we have increased here slightly so let's select this all and increase the column width a little more all right now let's go to the view so uncheck the grid lines from here and we will create these top cards which we have created here so we will create from the row number three and we have taken two columns a and b you can see that here so select these two columns and use merge cells and first of all we are showing the number of survey and now let's align this center and middle increase the row height slightly and you can fill here take any color let's say i'm taking this color font i'm taking white then let's select this range and we will use the merge cells like we have taken here up to row number eight or nine okay and then you can use merge cells we will take the similar lighter color like we have taken here some different color but here i'm taking different color just to show you and we can put the formula here that formula will be sum and formula will be a count because we are taking number of survey right so let's take a count a and go to the data we can take the count of employees because each line item is a survey until the end. So as more employees will be added, more survey will be added, they will appear here. Just hit the enter. So we can see we are getting the count of 500. Let's align this center and middle. First of all, this heading will use Arial rounded and slightly bigger around 12. And this one also will take the Arial rounded and we will make it bigger. All right, so we have uh, taken around 50 and the font color we can take the same theme color like this after that you can select this uh, cells like this and then go to the borders and take the white color border and take this thickness and apply all borders okay so it is looking like this and reduce the row height of this row all right now we can simply make the copy of this and we can paste this here 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 and here okay so we have made four five copies then you can take the other count so i will show you one how you can take let's say overall satisfaction score okay 
so here we are taking the overall satisfaction score and then we will take the average of the overall score use the average function come to the data sheet and here we will come to the average satisfaction score this one that is overall okay just select this close the bracket hit enter we are getting here one number so just uh, remove the decimal slightly let's take one decimal only okay now you can change this color let's say i want to take the different theme like this one and here also in place of this let's choose the same theme color so that is quickly changed and the font also in place of this let's take this one so that is how you can create the others also like here we have taken environment work environment score and take here also work environment score and delete this use the average come to the data work environment is this one select this and close the enter now decimal take only one place here you can take the some different color let's say i'm taking this one and here also i'm taking this one and the font also i'm taking this font this one all right so quickly change now we can change this quickly uh, this is the compensation score and the management score so this is compensation score then we can take the management score also and for the compensation score we will use the average in the data and let's see this one column match at the enter and here also use average come to the data select the management score and hit the enter now select these two and reduce the decimal places and you can take the different colors also let's say i want to take this color here and font also i can for this one font take this one and this color also we can choose this one all right similarly for this one also you can take another color but for now i'm just keeping it as it is now i will show you how we can create this kind of chart here so to create a chart first let's insert a blank chart insert and just go to the chart this is a blank chart and you can make it smaller like this then we will go to the chart editor and here first we will select the bar chart this one then let's select the range so first let let us see what chart we have created that is work environment score by department so we will take the same one just double click here and uh, just delete this so first we will take the work environment score by department so you can take the department here department is available on column b just select that add another range and then we will take the work environment score this one and just click on ok we can see our chart is looking like this so we will make some adjustment here in the setup we have one aggregate option just aggregate this now chart is looking slightly good and use row one as header now the problem is we can see it is going up to uh, more than 200 right that means it is taking the sum by default so here in the series it is taking sum. just make it average so as we made it average you can see it is taking the average now now go to the customize and here first we will go to the chart and access title and we will put the chart title and the chart title will be work work environment score by department and align this center and take the color as black size tick around 14 now we can click on the grid lines here and just uncheck the major grid lines from here go to the series and here at bottom we have a data level option as we added data level we can see our decimal places are not good so just click here and then we will go to the number format number formats are coming from the source data so rather than this we can just uh, use the custom number format so let's go to the other custom format and here we can take normally 0, 0.0 because we need one decimal place just apply that so here you can see it is working right if you want to make this 3d you can make it 3d just click here and go to the customize and in the chart style we have option that is 3d now the charts are 3d and if you want to change the color you can simply fill the different color let's say i'm taking this color so you can see our chart is changed so that is how we can create all other charts similar to this we have created you can simply create let's say 
here we are taking the growth opportunity by location or we are taking number of survey so i can quickly show you one more let's say number of survey by month so what you can do here just make a copy of this and paste it here so I'll, i'm showing you how we can create number of survey by month just double click the first thing we will take it as a area chart right here we have taken the area chart then let's come here and just uh, change the range so delete this and we will take the number of survey by month come to the data here in the data we have month so just select the month then add another range and you can take the count of month or count of employee id right click on ok come to the setup so here in place of average just take the count so it is showing the count of employee id right just select this and uh, come to the customize series and take the different color let's say i'm taking this color so accordingly that will be changed then the point size takes 7px so we can see the markers also and uh, then come to the chart style and you can make the line smooth so we can see a uh, smooth it line all right so that is how we can create this kind of chart number of survey by month all right friends so similar to this you can create the other charts also and your dashboard will be ready friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos Thank you so much for the watching.